It's come to my attention, not all y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello my beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do, because that is how we keep up with y'all see the comments. Also, if you do enjoy my vibe today, Pisces, or you just enjoy this tarot reading as well, I really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me. But also remember, Pisces, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. Put it in perspective, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. So take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, honey, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards are just here, Pisces, just to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider, really, but never making the choice in your life, Pisces, because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, Pisces, let's just get into your weekly horoscope today. I want to see... Uh, as I choke on my spit, I want to see where you guys are feeling right now, Pisces. You guys have Sandalphon, Angel of New Life. Now, uh, when it comes to this Angel, Pisces, this is letting me know of you guys have the opportunity of really stepping into um, a new energy entirely, right? So this could be a representation of having the opportunity to move to a new environment, or whether this is having the opportunity to really push forward um, in a certain career path, for example, right, Pisces? Um, you have something, I almost want to say breathing new life into an old situation, and especially remembering from last week for y'all, Pisces, I know you guys have been just going through such a hard time. <laughs> and um feeling really defeated on some level for um just where it is that you're creating where it is that you've been going pisces and i see you kind of like having new life being uh what is the word for it? Bre uh, breathed into you is that the word i want to say breathe breathed into you um yeah Let's get some more clarifiers with this, though, Pisces. In full disclosure, honey, I am um, trying to do this in a <laughs> in over 100 degree weather. Uh, I almost called you Scorpio, not Pisces. So um, if you notice me being a little bit extra moisturized, darling, I am. <laughs> so they don't mind me. But uh, yeah, let's get into some clarifiers for this angel of new life for you, Pisces. We have stepping forward to you first, the death card. Okay, so naturally when it comes to, I do feel like you're breathing uh, energy into an old dead situation that you thought was dead and over with, right? I may even title your video that way, where it's like, cause I feel like that would be like the theme for this message right off the bat, where it's just like, it's not over yet with something, right? Um, I do feel like this is a situation where you Pisces more so gave up on something. I feel like it's kind of been in your hands with how this death has played out. Um, uh, where you kind of something just fizzled out and then the king of Pe uh, pentacles in the reverse so yeah you definitely pulled out from this initially uh pisces there's something that you are kind of just calling it quits on and i don't know if you're just like regretting that decision pisces um at this point or where you know this is giving me very much so an energy of where you guys like neglected like a a uh, plant, honey, and like that plant, you haven't been watering it, and it kind of looked like it was just dead, right? All the leaves are dead, and it just looked like you were just like dead and gone, honey. And it's like you thought you was just done and over with, like you couldn't save that plant now that you, like, for example, got out of your depression and now um, have the energy to water your plants again, right? This is spirit letting you know that, like, if you were to actually start breathing life into this, start watering it again, this plant would actually come back into life again, so it's not over quite yet i do feel like um my pisces some of my pisces need to hear that um yeah it's just like don't walk away from this uh the lover's card in the reverse so definitely coming in as a situation where um something kind of ended and not on the best of terms perhaps um definitely when it comes to this this is one of those things where um yeah just overall pisces i feel like I feel like it was one of those times where you kind of need to just put it in perspective for this and not feel defeated. 
Pisces, I feel like this is going to be your biggest hurdle um, because of how this is reflecting to me on like how Four of Cups in the reverse as well. Yeah, this is so much of a situation where you're just like, you could potentially be like Pisces where you're just like, oh man, if I really just like did this from the beginning, then like things would be so different, right? I feel like you guys are beating yourself up in some way, Pisces, because you didn't initially engage with something or because you let like a plant die out, right? And I feel like the biggest message coming along with this, Pisces, is spirit trying to say just like you know be nice to yourself pisces you know just because it's in this way doesn't mean that you can't continue on uh you know trying to bring this into fruition right just because you walked away from it initially just because you stopped putting energy into it doesn't mean it's all it was all for nothing right so now pisces let's get an idea on um some advice from spirit when it comes to this week as well for you all right uh, let's do one more shuffle. Okay. This one to come out. Ace of Wands stepping forward to you. This is the energy of just doing. I feel like you even got this card last week, Pisces, where you're just being told, just do it. Just put yourself out there. Just take action, Pisces. Um, <laughs> let's get some clarifiers for this, though. Let's get a little bit more depth, darling, than just being told to do it, right? That is the thing that I kind of want to just go into that narrative where it's just like, well, I mean, you, you can either beat yourself up, right? Eight of swords, right? You can either beat yourself up and be like, oh man, all these dead plants, all this, all these things that I neglected, right? And you can use that as your reason as to why you'll like make yourself discouraged and not push forward more. Or you can, because I feel like with this eight of swords, normally when it's in the upright, this uh, eight of swords is a sense of where you have like those self-limiting thoughts, right? That are your reasons for why it is like, or your excuses, well, if, if I can be blunt, Pisces, as to why you won't take action as the ace of wands. So when this is in the reverse, you kind of have to just like release those uh, chains, those narratives that you're telling yourself as to why you can't take action, why you can't go forward, right? The star card in the reverse very interesting Pisces it feels like yeah I feel like I'm just tapping into like a Pisces again man where there's just some sense of like you feeling hopeless in some situation or you feel like the light in a situation is just gone and over with and there's no point in putting further energy into it right it's almost just like you're telling yourself there's no point into entering like this competition or putting yourself into doing this because it's never going to work out in the long run right because of whatever that eight of swords is but the sun card comes in as a powerful message it's the best card in the deck pisces where it's telling you it's just like things are actually going to work out things are going to manifest so beautifully for you but you have to allow it to happen right you have to allow it to happen but you kind of just have to again take note of this ace of wands pisces where you just go forward with it you just do it right you work through that anxiety you work through that pain honey here's a secret that no one ever talks about even all those favorite people your favorite creators whatever honey everyone that you see you feel like everyone has their life together whatever those same people have so much anxieties those people you look up to they have their own anxieties they feel like they're not going to be able to reach their same thing but they work through those fears and they still take action through those fears because they're trusting themselves they're willing to bet on themselves right um don't be afraid of adopting a little bit more optimism in your life pisces um that's for sure ten of cups being in the reverse as well so for some of you guys um part of the reason why you feel like your situation is just hopeless is just because of i don't know with this ten of cups here there's still some type of emotional just like disruption here i don't know if you're having like uh emotional distractions from like other relationships in your life and that's what's keeping you down as well um but definitely with this ten of cups here see how it's in relationship with your star card in the reverse i do feel like these two are kind of interconnected so whether the or intertwined rather so whether this is where it's like a dynamic where it's like you know maybe you have unsupportive family or friends here and they help they don't feed this like they disempower you, right? And make you feel like you're not going to actually accomplish anything. Um, or maybe even this is just a sense of where it's like you've just been experiencing a lot of failures and just emphasizes on that. And you're just feeling and having the feelings of like being tired of falling flat on your face, right? Ace of Cups in the reverse as well. So that's what's keeping your heart shut down is because of like 
you've been going through so many like bad experiences Pisces that you're just shutting down internally and closing your heart out from and from like ever being hopeful for something again this is very much so an energy Pisces where it's like you don't want to get your hopes up with anything anymore because you just you're telling yourself it just leads to more and more disappointment so it's kind of like you are just done it's almost like I'm seeing a Pisces that are just like yeah, they're just becoming a little bit more cynical with their life now instead of more positive, which bums me out. Bums me out, man. Um, but now, Pisces, let's get a look into the good things that are working in your favor this week. What good things are in the works uh, this week for you, Pisces? Let's see. We have starting out this card, uh, starting out this energy, Ten of Wands in the reverse. So definitely healing from baggage. Someone else actually got this. Which sign got this? I want to say it was uh, it's like Scorpio got the Ten of Wands in the reverse, Pisces. Maybe you guys have Scorpio in your chart um, because they got it in this dynamic exactly too for the good things coming to them. So if you have Scorpio in your chart or you're connected to a Scorpio in some way, I do suggest ch checking out um, the Scorpio reading. But with this Ten of Wands here, you guys are definitely going to be... Um, Definitely addressing what's been weighing you down, Pisces. Whether it's been like your imposter syndrome, because I know I've been saying that for you guys for a little bit now, because I keep on seeing my Pisces going through some imposter syndrome. Or what have you. You're, you're, the heaviness that you're feeling on your shoulders every day that you wake up, I definitely feel like it's going to be lightened soon. Three of Wands in the reverse as well, um, paired with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, things are definitely going to be clearing up for you, Pisces. So I know you guys have been going through a very rough period, darling. Y'all, like, for anyone that's that lives in Florida or my fellow old Floridians, I'm from Florida, or I lived my some of my childhood in Florida, Pisces. This is like hurricane season, right? Y'all went are going y'all Pisces have been going through your hurricane season and y'all have been getting hurricane after hurricane in your life. All this chaos, right? Happening and it's just been a lot of burdens. A lot of you guys have been taking a lot of L's, darling, a lot of stressors in your life, and not a lot of good things have been happening. And I do feel like this is shifting for you though, Pisces. Four of Pentacles, yes, definitely you're going to be able to start getting your roots into something, right? So if you guys have been, I'm just getting like this sense of like you haven't had time to make time for like a creative project or something like that. You're gonna have the time opening up for you this week to start investing your pentacles, your energies really, um, into the things that you've been really wanting to six of cups coming in here and definitely coming in where it's like what whatever you start investing into this could be a sense of where part of the message of the six of cups comes in as like an offer coming in right but i for more so feel like this is more so like a because this talks about past energies you're going to be able to invest more energy into stuff that you've had like a history with so whether this is working on your relationships working on those projects as i said um you're gonna have the times have more time to uh, slotted to that that's going to be bringing forth a lot of goodness for you i feel yeah queen of pentacles very much so feeling at peace personally with yourself very self-sufficient energy very much so i mean you look at this individual pisces and they're just thriving darling so uh yeah i love that for you uh pisces now let's get into um your social situation this week, Pisces. When I say social, I don't just mean um, your romantic, I mean your friendships, co-workers, darling, family, everything, right? Platonic, romantic, everything. So you have the Taurus card coming in, or the new moon in Taurus. New moons represent new beginnings, darling. Uh, prosperity lying ahead. So this could be, I'm gonna speak in two different dynamics, um, Pisces, because y'all know your social situation better. Y'all are not very social right now. This is going to be more so of a message of being able to, I would say more so, especially how your journal portion you're reading ended, Pisces. This is giving me a sense of some of that Six of Cups, making what we were referencing before, you being able to invest that Four of Pentacles, investing more time into a situation that maybe had, there's been like a rift for a while. Maybe you haven't had time to connect with your siblings or your loved ones. Yeah, just your loved ones in general. Um, definitely, there seems to be a good sign in this regard for this, Pisces. King of Cups coming in here. I don't know if you guys have recently. Yeah, like it does feel like. Here's the thing: we're not getting about like any sword cards for you, Pisces. Knock on wood, right? Where it's, most of them signify some type of like pain or struggle, right? Mentally, with this, it's kind of like a sense of where um maybe you felt like a distance between you and a certain situation 
Um, and I really do feel like things are going to start panning out, right? Maybe someone has been ghosted for a while and y'all just haven't had the time to connect. Um, Eight of Cups. This is definitely, I feel like, a situation, Pisces, of like some type of connection in your life. There is definitely distance here. Um, but oddly enough, still, it's not odd, I guess. It's normal. But it's just like, there's no, like, I'm not seeing pain. I just feel like, I feel like there's just been a lot of distance or like, even not physically, right? I just, and I don't mean physically, really. I mean like the emotional distance because that's what cups represent is emotional uh, distancing, right? Uh, or just emotions in general. Ten of Swords. Okay, this is what I'm, this is a good sign though, darling. Ten of Swords in the reverse refers to communication, right? Ten of Swords where it's just like, yeah, it feels like some uh, connection in your life, Pisces, Either one side or both sides need a distance from one, one another. And now that there's been this distance, it feels like you guys are going to be able to reconnect again and really have like a beautiful connection. You know, there was definitely this hermiting phase. There's definitely some type of so social situation in your life, Pisces, that you were, there's been some distance reclusing off from one another. And I feel like this is a, just going to be a week where things are going to start looking up. You may start seeing signs of someone opening up to you again, right? So this, I won't be surprised if you get some of y'all uh, Pisces get some text messages this week or someone reaching back out to you that you haven't um, potentially like anticipated coming into your life again so now pisces now let's get it into y'all's uh financial and career this week let's see what's in the works for y'all my beautiful pisces this card wanted to come out and then you have the new moon in capricorn two different new moons in earth in earth energy so very much so bringing forth manifesting a lot uh into your physical energy this card says your hard work is paying off. I mean, what a beautiful card, honey, to be getting, Pisces, for when it comes to your finances and your career, right? So this is definitely right off the bat, Pisces. Stay the course with whatever it is you've been investing your energies into. Keep at whatever it is that you've been doing, darling, as well, right? Because it's going to pay off really soon. Okay, these cards try to come out. Let's see here. So we have the Seven of Swords. Uh, yeah, Seven of Swords inverted, Seven of Pentacles upright, as well as the Seven of Wands here as well. Seven, seven, seven. Ooh, these three cards came out together, Pisces. I love this. What? Write down the number seven, Pisces, because this seven, number seven is coming in very strongly for y'all. Lucky number seven. <laughs> I love this. So yeah, definitely this is showing to me where Seven of Swords right here in the reverse. Um... You definitely feel like there's kind of like a lost cause again, like this sense of where, um, hmm. you know what? Actually, I'm gonna reverse that, flip it and reverse it, Pisces. I feel like you personally have felt very powerful or like felt very confident in like your seven of pentacles, your magic beans. We're gonna call this your magic beans, darling. I feel like you felt very comfortable or very confident in the magic beans you place because you're just like, you know that you're gonna grow a beanstalk, right? But this is showing to me the seven of wands and the seven of swords. Like I feel like outside energy was bringing in doubt. Now I don't know if that was impacting you, um before well during this time pisces but it's something like i feel like you have your magic beans with something where you're just like this is gonna pay out really soon four of wands comes in as well right i feel like you guys are really you have you're investing all your pentacles you're investing all your energy into this one thing like you're putting all your eggs in one basket i believe is the phrase that is said and i feel like it's gonna pay out really soon Right? I mean, naturally, that's what the card says. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, hard work's paying off soon. So very powerful messages, Pisces. I love it. Now, before we close out this reading for you today, Pisces, let's get into um, your quote card for this week that you can take as you go throughout the week, uh, Pisces. Y'all know I love me a quote. So this card that came out, my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. This is definitely, yeah, I back, brings it back to the first card, right? Breathing new life into a situation and making the most out of things. Um, definitely a week of healing for you, Pisces. Definitely a time where you're being told not to allow blockages, obstacles that you've been appearing, that have been appearing in your life. Do not allow this to disrupt your growth. Do not allow it to disrupt your 
you're blooming, Pisces. Continue to do your hard work because it's definitely paying off and prosperity lies ahead. These things are just here to build some character in you, Pisces. I always say this, right? Whenever I'm going through a hard time, darling, and I'm literally having a breakdown crying and in tears, Pisces, I always will just make the joke to myself of being like, man, this is going to be such a good chapter in my autobiography, right? And that's why I feel like everyone needs to tell themselves and just be like, ooh, this is going to be just a very juicy chapter to tell later in their life. Um, but yeah, Pisces, so that is the reading that I have for you this week. I hope you found some cards that resonated with you in this weekly reading today. If you did, let me know in the comments below which cards resonated. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe as well, Pisces. If you'd like to book a personal private reading with me, my website is just simplyvelka.com. I have it linked down below along with all my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, everything, darling, is just simply Velka. Uh, Pisces, if you have a friend as well that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them their zodiac sign weekly tarot reading that I have, and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Pisces, I love you so much.